welcome to episode number four of the survey to go basic training my name is David and I'm gonna be your host and I'm one of the scripting managers here in Dublo in today's episode we're gonna take a look at some scales and some simple filtering scenarios and we're gonna do that by continuing on with our main questionnaire that we started in previous episodes so a quick reminder we're actually scripting the demo vehicle survey and we already did the intro the screening part and of course the LSM in our last episode in today's episode we're gonna do the first part of our main questionnaire which is the brand awareness part and we are going to script um, a questions a1 uh, a2 and a three now these questions you will notice that we have some simple form of filtering that we need to take into account as we are being asked what brands we are aware of and then from those which one we've heard in the past six months and uh, from those where we have um, heard about them so we're going to do that in two passes as usual. The first pass I'm going to just add the different questions and answers and then in the second pass I'm going to add the different logic. So join me once I'm done adding the questions. So I'm done adding all of the questions and one small tip you might have noticed that when I'm adding the topics here or everything that's vertical it's not a problem by just copying then clicking on the multi add and pasting however what happens when you have this type of horizontal table that you want to copy from so if I copy that and I do a multi add and paste here it shows up as a single line now for that there's this very useful um, link here you click on the change tab to new line and then just fixes everything so that you can click on add now if we take a good look at all of these questions and the ones afterwards as well in the questionnaire we can see the list of answers repeating itself times after time so in this case instead of continuously adding them what we can do is just add them once as what we call an answer scale and then reuse that scale every time over and over so in our case we already added the different answers but it's not in a scale so if you already did that like I did now there's a quick shortcut to adding the scale so that in order to add a scale you can just click on the scales tab here click on you and create your scale But if you already added it like I did what you can do is just right click on the question and choose make question answers into scale so I'm gonna click that and immediately that's that generates the scale and I'm going to click on edit just to rename the scale that was um, created and I'm going to give it a different name saying car brands and I'll click on OK and now this is a scale so in this question instead of adding the answers manually I can just select from the scale and then these answers are going to be added automatically now, now a very important note if you're going to do that, only do that with surveys that are not in field yet because that deletes the answers and re-adds them so that will lose you information. So only do that while scripting. So we'll do that for the topics as well. We'll change that to the car brands and now we're done. So now we want to take a look at the actual logic that was requested. So the first one is just randomize the brands list so to do that we're gonna go to a1 and we'll go to the advanced tab and just check this box right here randomize answers or topics 
Next, on A2, we only want to, okay, so we want to do a rotation of the brand list and only show the ones that were done in A1. So let's do them one by one. We'll start with the rotation. So we'll go to the advanced tab as well and we'll click on randomize answers topics and we'll check the cyclic box. That will make it a rotation instead of a randomization. Next, we want to only show the brand mentioned in A1. So for that, I'm going to go to the scripts tab. That's a simple filtering actually. And I'm going to use the filter answers by answers function. And I'll give it the target as A2. And the source will be A1. What this will do, it will only show in A2 the answers that were selected in A1. So that's easy enough. Let's continue on to A3. Here we want to randomize the brands list again and only show the brands from A2. So we'll do that again. We'll go to the advanced tab. We'll check the randomize answers and topics. And mind you, this is a multiple selection grid. So when I um, filter, I don't want to filter the answers, which is the TV, radio, and internet. We want to filter we want to filter out the topics. So I'm going to write filter topics by answers. And I'll say I want to filter A3, which is the one we're working on now, by the answers of A2. And that's it. So now we're off to testing. So I'm going to right click the A1 question and click on start question in emulator. That will spin up the emulator and we'll be able to test. So which of the following brands are you aware of? Whoops. I see none being randomized along with all of the other questions. And one more thing I can see that I can choose none and Ford and Mazda. So none is not exclusive. So let's fix those both, both of these two issues. So the nice thing about adding the scale is that we only need to fix that within the scale and that will apply to all the other questions. So I'll click on edit to the scale and I'll choose my none answer. I'll scroll all the way to the right and and I'll tick off the is exclusive and I'll tick off the do not random. And I'll click on OK and that will apply. So now when we go back to the actual survey and we'll jump directly to A1, we see none is actually on the top on the bottom and when I click here, I click on none, that will apply. So let's choose Renault, Lexus, and Kia. When I go to the next question, indeed I only see Kia, Lexus, and Renault. This was randomized, so everything is working up until now. And if I choose only these two, Kia and Lexus, we see Lexus and Kia. So that is working perfectly. The only thing I do want to add is a skip rule where if we choose the none question in A1, when we click on next, we're not left with none like so. So what I'm going to do is go back to A2 and A3 and add a skip rule, and that is an entrance rule. I'm going to say only show this question if um, contains, which means the previous answer, the previous question contains A1. Um, I'm going to say option number nine, which is the none question, and I'm going to say not contains. So only if the previous question does not contain option number nine, I'm going to uh, continue showing this. And I'll copy this rule, and I'll also apply it in this case. So I'm only showing both of these questions if A1 was not nine. Let's go back and check this out. Go to A1, we'll choose none and the interview ends because that's only the old, old questions that we had. So everything is working perfectly and we're done. So thank you very much for joining me on this episode. In the next episode, we're going to handle some loops and do more exciting stuff. <laughs>